thank you so much for being with us, uh, Professor Komiyama. Uh, this year is the 50th anniversary of the Mitsubishi Research Institute. Yes. And I think no other country has grown as Japan in the mm. history of men, in mm. terms of economy and uh, mm. lifespan. Do you think such a speed is still possible in the next 50 years? Uh, quantitatively, it's impossible. Uh, I think the, the target of society will change or, or have been changing already from GDP to happiness of the people. In that sense, Japan will contribute, continue to contribute to the world in leading the happiness-based economy or happiness-based society. But in Japan, we feel that today's Japan, there are many uh, social ills, a uh, lot of a sense of loneliness, uh, a sense of uh, perhaps uh, not getting so much happiness compared to the materialistic happiness. Are you optimistic that Japan can, can... I mean, when I look at movies of the 70s of Japan or 80s, I find an appetite for a more pleasure, maybe, or enjoying life. Do you feel this appetite can be sustained in the future? Okay. Uh, considering that thing, I define a platinum society, uh, which is a sustainable uh, economy and societal model, where the earth is sustainable and the people are affluent and uh, allows uh, all the people without leaving anyone uh, to make self-reliance uh, or self-satisfaction uh, uh, in that society. So I think the, the target will change of course, uh, Japan may be the first, one of the first, like the uh, Scandinavian uh, countries. Uh, and Japan will try to make the society much more platinum society like. But so when you mentioned Scandinavian countries, really interesting because Sweden have a lot of points uh, common with Japan, but uh, also a different uh, approach, for example, the way women are treated or, and so forth. Do you find Japan will, will target more a Sweden-like society? No, no. The biggest difference between Scandinavia and Japan may be societal and probably something like religion. They are based on Christianity. But we are based on Shinto or Buddhism. And the history are very different. Scandinavian countries are fighting, 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 and invaded by Russian and many countries. Japan had been, had, uh, Japan was a very uh, happy in, in some sense. We didn't have any invasion from the other country. And for example, in Edo period, 250 years, there was no war inside or from the attack from the outside. And in Heian period, it started uh, 1792. It continued. 400 years. In this 400 years, no war. It's a very special history of Japan. And so Japanese people are modest, but not so greedy. People think the others very important, like family. So th this is sometimes merit and demerit. Mm. We can't compete with Elon Musk <laughs> or Pezos. 
Why are you too individualistic? They are. They are. But somebody like uh, Morita Akio or uh, Son Masayoshi, they pursue their goal? You no? should know. You should know. Now the, uh, we are uh, the, all the uh, human beings uh, try to modify capitalism. It's a stakeholder of capitalism. Look at the starting message of Morita or Toyota or other Hitachi. Every conglomerate says three important buyers, important buyers, sellers, and society. So, Japanese capitalism. From the origin, As is a stakeholder's capitalism. And so, it's very different, mm. very different. But the, unfortunately, Japanese don't think, don't feel as I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When you look at big shock like uh, Lehman shock and uh, Fukushima and now COVID, do you think they really change society? Because it seems society does not change so much. Do you feel a uh, like COVID is a, such a big shock? It changed people? That is my incentive. I would like to change Japanese society. It's not so bad. It's a good country. But the people need to know we must change. So what would that, you that change? That is the same message <laughs> as you do. So if you're prime minister, what do you change? The next day, prime minister. If you are prime minister, <laughs> what do you change? I will make Japan much better. Okay, which I'm law? Sure. What's your first law? I will, I will change from the countryside. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I, Platinum Society. We have already started Nagano Prefecture branch, and next I will start Hokkaido branch. Hokkaido has ma many opportunities from the viewpoint of energy, renewable energy, Tourism. they can, can self-supply. Mm -hmm. Not only self-supply, they can export to, the, to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. They can produce four times energy than they need, than need by themselves. So they can send Export the electricity yeah, mm -hmm. to the Tokyo. And so Hokkaido and Kyushu and Shikoku, we have many chances. Tokyo, Tokyo is only a, only a part of Japan, but too many people are concentrating on Tokyo. That is the big, big issue. It's an Asian concept. It started from China. Uh, and it has 4,000 years or more than 6,000 years history, and the, it, the people tend to concentrate mm -hmm. on Beijing. Mm -hmm. Japan imported that style. So you want to turn it around and yeah, have countryside right. style? That's right. Okay. Well, I hope you're right. Thank, Thank you. you so much.